Iowa using $10 million in virus aid to fund state police officers. Absolutely. It's a major reason why I haven't gone back to visit my family out there. My wife is Mexican-American, first generation born in the States, thus my daughter is obviously half Mexican. People out there get very uncomfortable when they hear Spanish and am certain my family would say cringy shit. I was born and raised in California, so when I lived in Iowa for a period of time I noticed it was almost a complete 180 in racial tolerance. She also tried to spend $20 million of COVID relief on an HR management IT package that was already in the state's budget at the beginning of 2020. Outstate auditor busted her ass on that, and she had to return the funds. Fuck COVID Kim. As an Iowan, there's nothing more I would like to see than Kim Reynolds get eaten by a bear. PA did the same thing with our gas tax taken at the pump to fund road maintenance and repair a couple years ago. PA has one of the nation's highest gasoline taxes, but some of the worst roads. Between this and the fact that millions were embezzled by three scumbags a few years back it's no wonder why. Isn't something like 50% of our transportation budget funneled to state police on the logic that traffic cops are transportation infrastructure? That is the purpose of state police and they paid for it just fine before the gas tax. No not police departments, individual officers. If departments are fined, we the taxpayers are the ones losing money for the cops being headasses. Make each individual officer pay for being a fucking knob and not doing their job correctly. Nope, just lawsuits from every obviously frivolous charge. Paying people for the time they had to waste going to court, emotional damage, and punitive damages for the police involved. A few $100,000 payouts will stop that shit pretty damn quickly, particularly if it's taken from the pension fund of the police. Nothing like driving over the PA-slash-Delaware border and suddenly being on a much smoother, infinitely better road. Like I pay money to drive on the PA side and you wouldn't even know it. There was a movie about a road trip, paper towns, and once they got to Pennsylvania, they got a flat tire. They didn't say it was PA, but you could tell it was. I live in PA and the roads are complete garbage. Meanwhile, small businesses are going bankrupt all over. So the org that doesn't pay any taxes at all just got tax-funded relief? What the fuck? Well thank god, now they can hide more of their rapist priests like musical chairs, except it's musical pedophiles on this case. What would the world do without a criminal sex trafficking ring that also launders money tax-free? I work for a payment gateway who deals largely with online religious donations to the Catholic Church and others. You would be absolutely amazed by how much money people give to their church. I'm talking $250 weekly recurring payments to be modest about it. The PPP loans, those stim packages along W slash the next one that will pass without any actual money going directly to the people, are going to end up being the biggest scams and transfers of money from the people to the ruling class in modern history. It's an absolute scam. Reminds me of Trump's tax bill that was being written literally as it was voted on. Total fucking scam. Iowa tried to use $21 million for software upgrades for payroll. Glad to see government is spending this well. $21 million for workday upgrades PA kept $150 million from nursing homes to help prop up budget holes. $150 million withheld. Small business owner here, this month is the first month I haven't been able to make rent driving home I saw so many closed restaurants. I don't know how small businesses will continue to survive. Today was a lonely drive home seeing all the death of everyone's hopes and dreams. Target parking lot was full though. I work at Target and business has been booming through all of this with the only requirement being to wear a mask while small businesses are forced to shut down or adapt in fundamental ways. While this is obviously terrible, the truly criminal actions are coming from the Senate. 
Choosing to provide no oversight of these funds was criminal negligence, and continuing to refuse to fund adequate aid for people and small businesses is dereliction if the oaths they swore. Unfortunately for the US, no real recovery or stability can occur until the Senate is under new leadership or the inoculations are progressed enough for herd immunity. Yup. The banks called up their best customers and golf buddies days before the money was made available. Helped do the applications and had them ready to go. When the relief cash was available, it was already spoken for, going to their cronies and nothing left for mom and pop business. Really a shit show. Many billions were set aside for small businesses, but the Trump admin allowed large businesses to loot the funds so the money ran out before most had a chance to apply. It's criminal. And then the Trump administration tried to cover it up and not release a list of which businesses got money. Don't expect much help from two-time DUI COVID Kim the Grim Reynolds. She said it's okay because the police officer's services were diverted to a substantially different use as a result of COVID-19. Can anyone explain to me how their services substantially changed, or why the police deserved these funds more than actual medical institutions? Fuck Kim Reynolds. I lived in Iowa for nine years. That state is ran by the most senile group of elderly people. I'm very moderate politically, but I can identify that the older population out there is so far right they're spinning circles.